The Bill Clinton rule only those who've been credibly accused of sexual assault but haven't admitted to it are fit for the presidency. Just like the founders intended. Believe it or not, the most awkward part of this exchange from Channel 4's interview isnt her casual hypocrisy about keeping predators out of the White House. It's her insistence that somehow the rumors about Harvey Weinstein never made it back to her despite the fact that it was an open secret in the industry for decades. Bill and Hillary Clinton, the undisputed king and queen of the Democratic Party until Obama came along, with a million friends in entertainment and media, somehow never got word that one of Hollywood's most influential liberals had busy hands. Here's one of the latest stories about Big Hard to bubble up over the weekend. They're coming at a rate of one every few hours now. Angie Everhart just told a stunning story on TMZ Live. She says Harvey Weinstein broke into the room where she was sleeping on a yacht, held her at bay and masturbated. She told everyone about it afterward, but no one cared. She says he told her not to tell anyone, but I told everyone. Angie says she told other actors, producers, anyone who would listen, and all they said was, oh that's just Harvey. Angie says everyone knew that Weinstein committed such acts but no one did a damn thing until last week. How open was the open secret this open in an interview from the red carpet of the Comedy Central's 2005 roast of Pamela Anderson? Courtney Love was asked by comedian Natasha Legaro what advice she has for young women trying to make it in Hollywood. UMMM, it'll get libeled if I say it, Love, 53, says it first in video of the chat unearthed by TMZ. She then stops hesitating. If Harvey Weinstein invites you to a private party in his Four Seasons hotel room, don't go, says Love. That was 12 years ago. Actress Sarah Polly has an opt in The Times today describing how she was pulled out of a photo shoot in 1998, when she was 19, and told that Weinstein needed to see her right away. Note her publicist's reaction in the taxi. The publicist looked at me and said I'm going in with you. And I'm not leaving your side. I knew everything I needed to know in that moment, and I was grateful. When I got there, Mr. Weinstein wasted no time. He told me, in front of the publicist and a co-worker beside him, that a famous star, a few years my senior, had once sat across from him in the chair I was in now. Because of his very close relationship with this actress, she had gone on to play leading roles and win awards. If he and I had that kind of close relationship, I could have a similar career. That's how it works, I remember him telling me. The implication WASNT subtle. I replied that I WASNT very ambitious or interested in acting, which was true. He then asked me about my political activism and went on to recast himself as a left-wing activist, which was among the funniest things I'd ever heard. Extorting barely legal women for sex while in the same breath crowing about his wokeness. That sure sounds like our Harvey. Again this was 20 years ago, a period through which Weinstein remained a liberal donor and bundler in good standing for, among other people, Hillary Clinton. No one in the Democratic food chain ever got wind that it was a bad idea to leave your daughter alone with the guy from Miramax. How the latest news actress Lysa Anthony has accused Weinstein of raping her, more than 30 years ago. British police are investigating. Clinton, look, we just elected a person who admitted sexual assault to the presidency, via channel 4 pictwittercom 9 noob 2 lecky Kyle Griffin at Kyle Griffin 1 October 14, 2017.